What is up everyone, this is Mole Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the Counter-Strike 2 or CS2 error that this application requires DX11 error to be fixed. So I'm going to show you a couple of things on what to do, and I'm going to go with the most simple, basic, easiest one, is to literally go to Microsoft's website, and then just download DirectX11 technology. There's updates available, there's the actual DirectX itself. It should be in your computer, but it's not. You can just straight up do the download and install it. If this doesn't work, you can also like download a few other different direct x once in general for your computer you can do a regular windows update you can look for your driver and see if you see it in there or not but doing this should help fix you you can always just google download direct x on my computer or direct x11 or dx11 and you will get the link basically and try to do it from the microsoft source as well just don't go to some random source but if this specific one doesn't work i'm going to show you the next things you can do to fix this error what you want to do next then is you want to click into go to counter strike right click into it go to properties and go to where it says installed files in here there's something called a view integrity of game files you want to click into this and it's going to take some time but it's going to essentially re-download or put something that might have been deleted or missing by accident. So you want to ensure you do this to help you basically fix that issue. If once you do this doesn't help fix it for you either, you want to same thing, right click into it, go into manage and you want to go to browse local files. In here, the first thing you want to do is you'll see DirectX installer here. You could technically delete this and then retry to like, do the verify integrity of the files and then hopefully it works. You can also uninstall the game and try again as well. But what you're doing next is you want to go to game and in game you want to go to bin and in bin you want to go to Windows 64 and then you want to right click where you see cs2.exe. You want to click into properties and you want to change the compatibility of where it's unchecked to checked run this program in compatibility mode and you want to change it to any of these and try all of them and see if this helps fix your issue for you if this still doesn't fix the issue for you the next thing you can do is you can go to your local c drive right you want to go to windows uh sorry the program file 86 you want to find where it says steam uh you want to find where it then says let's find it uh i believe it was let's see user data and then you want to find a folder with a bunch of numbers in it and then you want to delete folder number 730 because it just has a bunch of cache in here. You want to delete this, turn off your Steam, turn it back on, and now you should be good to go and not have this error persist any longer. So yeah, that's basically it. Doing these step steps should help fix your issue for you again. It's also possible your Windows just needs to be updated. I know a lot of us just like tend to push it off and not update our Windows. You might want to actually do that. Update your window and just kind of go from there as well. So yeah, that's basically it. If you guys still have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know in the comment section below. More than ever, you guys have. If you guys are like this video, please smash that like and subscribe. Guys, and do the channel. Make sure to subscribe, click that notification button. And then we're going out. Peace.